We are two weeks away from the August primary election, and this flamethrower ad featuring Missouri gubernatorial candidate Bill Igel has been getting a lot of attention. Tonight, we're fact-checking the claims that he makes in this ad. I'm running for governor to torch the woke agenda. Illegal immigrants getting taxpayer handouts? That's a disgrace. It is true. Some benefits are available to people in Missouri, regardless of immigration status. For example, the WIC program, which helps low-income women, infants, and children up to the age of five get nutritious food and other health benefits, is available to anyone who meets specific income requirements. However, the National Law Immigration Center says unauthorized migrants are those who haven't entered the U.S. through a legal pathway, such as receiving a work visa or gaining asylum or refugee status, aren't eligible for most major federal aid programs like food stamps, Medicaid, Medicare, and welfare. Transgender trash in our schools. The ad, paid for by the Believe in Life and Liberty PAC, shows State Senator Igel burning boxes that read woke gender ideology, transgender trash in schools, and porn books in school. These ideas mirror what Florida and other red states have done in the past few years. In particular, earlier this year, a settlement was reached between Florida education officials and civil rights attorneys, allowing students and teachers to speak freely about sexual orientation and gender identity in Florida classrooms, provided it's not part of instruction. Florida Governor Ron DeSantis called the settlement, quote, a major win. I'll torch that. Kingdom come. Transgender care has been a target of Missouri Republican politicians over the last couple of years. Multiple bills have been introduced, but not passed in the Missouri legislature, that would impact the trans community and even criminalize educators who provide support to children transitioning. When it comes to getting rid of what Igel calls porn books in school, according to a recent report by PEN America, Missouri is already one of the leading states banning books with 330 banned during the 2022-23 school year. Those books deal with violence and sexual assault, themes of race and racism, and represent LGBTQ plus identities. Communist China secretly buying up Missouri land? I'll torch that too. China owning Missouri farmland is a hot topic among all top GOP gubernatorial candidates. Last year, Eigel introduced Senate Bill 9, preventing any foreign business from acquiring farmland in the state. It also banned foreign businesses from buying real estate in Missouri, but exempted existing foreign businesses that already own real estate in the state. That bill failed to make it out of committee. If you're ready for a governor to torch the left, I'm ready to light them up. And if you're wondering, possession of a flamethrower is legal under federal law, Maryland is the only state that bans possession.